In a previous video, I showed that FlashMQ can achieve a message rate of over a million messages per second on a single 4-core server, where other MQTT servers didn't get much higher than 70,000. Single server scalability is one of the main design goals of FlashMQ, so now I'll demonstrate how we can handle millions of clients on a single server. The server we're using is a 64-core Amazon EC2 instance. At the top left, you can see some of the tweaks necessary to allow for more than our target of 4 million connections. We need to do these tweaks mostly to even allow for so many connections and to distribute network processing over all CPUs. At the top right, you can see the sys topics that show the client count and message rates. Below that is a subscription to a heartbeat topic to show that the server remains responsive. And lastly, you can see the number of established connections as reported by Netstat. Now let's connect our 4.6 million clients. Six 32 core instances, each running 770,000 clients. Each connecting client will subscribe to the topic 1 slash 2 slash x, where x is increased by 1 for each client, starting back at 0 after 1000. We will later publish to those topics in a similar round robin fashion to cause activity on each client. This means that each publish will cause a message to go out to approximately 5000 clients. Connecting all the clients takes a few minutes, so let's fast forward. As you can see, the 4.6 million clients have connected. Let's fast forward and we can see that after a minute, they are still there, so they seem stable. Now we can connect our publishers. The server is now distributing 1.2 million messages per second over all 4.6 million clients. The CPU metrics show a fair amount of soft RQ in purple, which are tasks being performed by the kernel. When dealing with this many connections, the soft RQ can quickly become a bottleneck, which is where the receive flow steering helps to distribute it over all CPUs. This Amazon instance also has a network adapter with 8 receive queues, which is also a good start in getting more CPUs involved in the network processing. Let's fast forward a few minutes and we can see that the clients are all still there, so all the connections are stable. And you can also see that the heartbeat topic remains responsive, meaning that there's no packet backlog in the socket buffers. So, there you have it, more than 4 million connections on one server.